mercy, your mercy, your favor upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your word and your spirit. In Jesus Christ's name, shall we clap for Jesus. We may be seated. <clears throat> My message this morning will be very short, but very helpful. Praise the Lord. The reason is very simple. Can I ask you this question? Are you a passive person inside your heart? Hmm? Are you a passive person? Let me just say inside and in general. Are you at peace? I'm sure there are others who are rich, who are doing very fine, but they have no peace. Where can we find this peace? Peace cannot be found anywhere here on earth. Our money cannot bring peace. Our education cannot bring peace. Marriage cannot bring peace. Friendship cannot bring what? Because the person that you are calling today your best friend tomorrow is going to be your enemy. Are you there? It is only in Jesus where you can find what? Peace. So make peace with Jesus starting from today. You don't know how to be peaceful without Jesus inside you. Make peace with what? Jesus came specifically to restore you back so that at the end of your journey, you meet him in his glory. Even if you become successful today as a businessman or in marriage, whichever way you, you know you may become successful, remember that your last day is very, very important here on earth. So be at peace with your creator. I'm sure even a son or a daughter, as long as you are not at peace with your mom or your daddy, you are living under a case. I'm sure that one is clear. If you become the enemy of your mom and your daddy, you are living under a case. You can differ with your brother or your sister, but when it comes to your mother and your father, think twice. I'm just giving you this example so that you know what I'm talking about. We are not at peace with our creator. And we are expecting to be peaceful here on earth. See the fight all over the world. If our leaders were to be at peace with the one who put them there, they cannot kill. I talked about this. When you hear all that people are fighting, Sudan, Russia, Ukraine, you are not going to see the president in front of, you know, the gun. He's somewhere talking. I'm fighting this one. And the people are dying are innocent people. Poor people. Because they are not at peace with their creator. There's no way you can claim to be peaceful and you are disconnected from the source of peace. Is it possible, people of God? Is it possible? It's not. What are we lacking? Our personal encounter with Jesus is what we are lacking. Jesus came for peace. 
And anyone who is connected to Jesus, you are a peaceful person. You live in peace, you talk peace, you walk in peace. You enjoy what? Peace. In the book of John 14, verse 27, Jesus said, Peace is what I live with you. He said, my own peace, I give it to you. I do not give it to you the way the world gives. Because in the world, if you say, oh, my brother, I, I love you. There's something in between you and me. We are sharing. Praise the Lord. So he came to do what? To introduce you to this life of peace. So be at peace with your creator. I think let me just declare this one as a simple title. Be at peace with Jesus. Because there's no way you can be peaceful with others as long as Jesus is not with you. Where are you going to get that peace? In fact, if you don't know in this life, believers have got more enemies and few friends. The reason is what? Simple again. Anyone that belongs to this life, they don't know how to love. They don't know how to forgive. They don't know how to live peacefully. All what they want is to fight whoever is there. So be at peace. Tell your neighbor, say, be at peace with Jesus. I can't hear you. Say it again. Yes. When I say be at peace with Jesus, <coughs> Jesus is there sleeping where you are sleeping. Are you telling me that a, a witch will come to your bed and start bewitching you? No. Peace will deny the witch to say, you witch, what do you want? I'm here. I'm peace. I'm health. So this person is peace and health. So to hell with you. Is it family case that can fight you? Poverty, where the peacemaker is there. Your relationship is very sound. Look at the church now. The church without peace is not a church. It is a club. And if you don't know, the enemy of peace is Satan and his demons. That's why where you found peace, the power of God is there. The power of God is what? Is there. That is the reason why we go to church. Let me take you to the book of 2 Peter, chapter 3, verse 14. First John, chapter 3, verse 23. But let me start with First Peter first. I mean 2 Peter, chapter 3, verse 14. So then, dear friends, since you are looking forward to this, make every effort to be found spotless, blameless, and at peace with him. That is where, uh, you know, I want you to be focused. If you say you are a Christian, you are a peaceful person. I am not saying problems will not come. Problems will come. But if you listen to this word, dear friends, since you are looking forward to this, what are you looking for? You are looking for Jesus. If you say you want breakthrough, you are looking for Jesus. If you say you want good health, you are looking for Jesus. Anything that you want as a human being came from God Almighty. You can't find it anywhere. No one can help you freely without demanding something from you. Since you are looking forward to this, make every effort to be found spotless, blameless. No one can see all these things, you know, because we are good when it comes to say I'm a child of God physically. I'm talking about the inner being that controls your spiritual life. Make every effort 
to be found spotless and blameless and at peace with him, that is Jesus your father. 15, bear in mind that our Lord's appeal, I mean patience, means salvation. His patience means what? Salvation. And if you don't know this, salvation is coupled with a lot of blessings. When you become peaceful, you possess salvation. Our Lord's patience means salvation. Don't take advantage of this, you know, peaceful environment that you see to say, ah, anyway, there's time. No, there's no time. The time is now and it is today. Make every effort to be found spotless, blameless, and at peace with him. Bear in mind that our Lord's patience means salvation. Just as our dear brother Paul also wrote you with the wisdom that God gave him. Mm -hmm. There is no way you can talk about the things of God without the intimation of the Holy Spirit. I mean, the link from the peacemaker. If you say, be peaceful, and you are not peaceful, you don't know what you are talking about. It's like you are, you, are, you are talking to your son to say, my son, stop smoking, and you are smoking in the presence of your son. Your son will look at us, yes, thank you that I've heard you. He will just go on the other side and decide to say, you are smoking, and you are telling me that stop smoking. When you say be peaceful, the word that is coming out of your mouth is being backed or supported by his power. So that you hear that word not with these ears, with your heart. To say, yes, the man who is talking to me is peaceful. The man who is saying this is what? Is peaceful. Paul wrote this letter to these people, not through his education, the wisdom that he got from God Almighty. Paul became peaceful before he was against the church, a state prosecutor fighting the church. But the day this man made peace with Jesus, he became peaceful. He can sympathize with you. He became an apostle. Not because of education. The peace of God entered his life. There he was learned how to be peaceful and live peacefully with everyone. It is not possible, people of God, to be peaceful without Jesus inside. You can say, I'm good, I'm this. Wait for something to provoke you. Once you are provoked, that's when you know that, yes, I'm peaceful. Unlike a situation where you are just saying, I'm peaceful because I'm born again, I'm what and what, immediately you are provoked. The next thing, you know the language. Nishu mchechi mungabela akapatulula. Nishu mtu ingira mchechi inga kwa tilolu mkumbwa. Nishu inga kwa tile chilumba. Jesus, when he was here on earth, he was persecuted. He was, you know, insulted. At the end of the day, killed. But he never, never, never committed any sin. Because he came for what? For example, I'm going to my brother for reconciliation. It is me who is calling this peace. And I want me and my brother to be, you know, reconciled. Then I say, my brother, I am here for peace. Then my brother said, you are an idiot. I, I think you are a fool. So you think you can deceive me in the name of all you are here uh, to reconcile with you. In fact, before I open my eyes, leave my sight. Mulenga, you are an idiot. You are useless. You are a bastard. 
without the peace inside your heart? Are you going to remain quiet? You respond to say, you too, you are an idiot. I came for peace now. It's like you are taking advantage of me being peaceful to you. Let me show you that. Me too. Um, if you want, come here. Let me show you a man between you and me. Are you peaceful? You are lying. When you say you are peaceful, that peace is from Jesus. The peace you are talking about cannot provoke, I mean, be provoked by anything. Not even gossiping, not even an insult. Because what you are calling inside is higher or greater than that, you know, persecution. The peace inside will be like flowing like water. The more they are insulting you, the more you are feeling good. You pray like never before. No, what you did last, okay. We I'm telling you the truth. In this world, you miss heaven without making peace with Jesus. I mean, if you want to live here on earth without you making peace with Jesus, you miss heaven. Because anything can provoke you and get you out of the presence of God Almighty. Before you know it, you are under the feet of the devil. And one minute with Satan is 1,000 years. If you don't know. He will bring a lot of problems in your life to destroy you. This is why it is important that you make peace with Jesus. So that you understand life beyond rejection and persecution. As a child of God. Even in poverty you can say thank you Jesus. In hatred you can say thank you Jesus. I'm sure you can agree with me that when you are provoked, is it easy for you to go on your knees and say, Father, thank you? No. You don't even pray. Appetite for food is gone. What about the spiritual energy? It's gone. Satan will be dancing to say, he's a child of God. <laughs> you, you meet me in hell. Continue. Make peace with Jesus who make you to understand every situation, who make you to know how to live with everyone, even those who are lewd, even those who are sarcastic, you can still move together. Because you are a peaceful person, like your Savior Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Be at peace with Jesus. He said, peace I live with you. My own what? Peace. He knew that this flesh is weak. And devil is always targeting the flesh. Because he, he discovered that when you touch the flesh, human beings are weak. Remember what he requested during you know, his conversation with the God Almighty over the life of Job. He said, permit me to go and touch his what? And he see if he will not curse you. A situation like that one, without his peace in your heart, even if you are a very strong man or a very strong woman, you can say, I love Jesus. He's spending here. 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 I love Jesus. He's spending inside the heart. Ah, Father, what have I done? Hmm? Am I the only one here on earth? Even these useless people, they are just moving freely. Eh? Who is useless in the eyes of God? Face the reality. I mean, face your own mountain. Don't compare yourself to anyone. When it comes to this personal relationship, don't bring anyone in between you and your creator. It is only you. Be like David. Face him one-on-one. -on -one. I love Jesus. Business is going down. I love Jesus, you are sick. I love Jesus, someone slap you. I love Jesus, this one lying against you. A peaceful man 
who is from above will not be moved by that situation. Because you are living life above all those persecutions. This is why you need to make peace with Jesus. Praise the Lord. Let me connect you to the book of 1 John, chapter 3. I promise to be brief. Wow. <clears throat> Verse 23. And this is his command, to believe in the name of his son. Are you there? First John, chapter 3, verse 23. And this is his command, to believe in the name of his son, Jesus Christ, and to love one another as he commanded us. The one who keeps God's commands lives in him, and he in them. And this is how we know that he lives in us. We know it by the spirit he gave us. Simply means for you to be at peace when you reconcile with Jesus, he will put his spirit in you as a controller of your life. There you love everyone. You love them, no matter what you love them, but first of all, you need to make peace with Jesus himself. Even when it comes to healing people of God, it is Jesus that can heal you or deliver you. There's no human being who can heal you or deliver you. Standing me here, it is the grace. That grace is from Jesus, meaning it is Jesus in me praying for you. If I am not at peace, this is the problem. People does not know this. There's no way you can pray in an environment where there's no peace. It's not easy. If the environment is hostile, you cannot pray because you need a free spirit for you to communicate. So, make peace with Jesus. If you say, I love Jesus, are you in a relationship with him? This same book, 1 John chapter 1, verse 5, the Bible says that this is the message that we heard from him. That God is what? Is light. In him, there is no darkness. If you say you are in a relationship with him, and yet you are still living in darkness, you are lying. Both in your words and in your action. So make peace with him. He is now the one who will be, you know, guiding you inside you. Like... If you are a prophet or a man of God, unlike the way we are, we are using our brain to deceive the church to say, you know, the Lord said this, the Lord said this. If truly you are such a person inside your heart, you'll be talking to people like the way I'm talking to you, then God Almighty will be busy giving you counsel how to share his message with people. You cannot make a message just because one person offended you. Then you, you open the Bible, targeting one individual. Look at the congregation. Then, It is this peace that can take you to heaven. I want to live it no longer. God save my soul. I want to live it no longer.
even our savior there was a time that he cried he said father if it is your will <laughs> the flesh you know you cannot contain that pain in this flesh without his spirit in you jesus ngakuti adira filio fiadi dile nga imweni mwa bana epa dai bele bana mayo kuti lati mwa bana mayo wa mje lusalem mwindirira ili dile ni mwebende ifinga kuti fiya chitikeli empanga ili bishi jesus ali wa mapinda no mbanga yao machika bashani do you understand that parable hmm? meaning e nani mpange ibi shifwe tuli mpange ya uma ngafiki vya chitikila ineneka imbi hmm? chimu itwa pakakala ngakuti bansunkanya kwena pachalo pabo bwafia ili dile ni mwebele this is why you need jesus he understand every pain he understand every situation is the interpreter of your problem he will let you know when this problem will come to an end there you be content and be peaceful and you be full of courage because the interpreter is busy telling you to say my son or my daughter i am with you don't worry i am the life i am the wealth outside me there is no life Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Make peace with Jesus. Don't just pretend that no, I love Jesus. No, 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 no. This is a very serious issue. Make peace with Jesus cannot try or deceive you. Thank you. God bless you.